Hey what's up guys this is Biofrost here today I'll be talking about how to set up Mobox simulator on your Android devices and run GTA 5 on it I'll be showing you guys the best settings including gameplay and much more so before starting if you guys are new here hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification as I upload similar videos on my channel let's get started before starting this video a quick word from our today's sponsor frost tech where you'll be able to read the entire tutorial of our today's video including the setup of mobox simulator and much more so be sure to check it out from the description box below all right guys let's start by talking about what exactly is mobox emulator so basically mobox is a completely open source windows emulator for android devices in simple words with the help of mobox simulator you can emulate your favorite windows apps or games on your android devices now the setup of mobox emulator Simulator is pretty simple as it is open source it is available on its official github page you'll need termux which is again an open source app termux x11 which is used to display the output of mobox simulator and input bridge for the on-screen touch controls now to set up mobox simulator what you'll need to do is just go ahead and copy the command and the minimum requirements for mobox simulator are as follows so you need at least android version 10 or above along with that directx 9 game should be supported with mesa virtual if you have an Mali GPU Android device. Now recommended device is Adreno 6 series or Adreno 725 to 740 GPU. So basically Snapdragon 680 processor or above is recommended by the developer of Mobox Simulator. Now once you copy the command, just go ahead and open the Termux app and then tap on don't allow. Afterwards, you will need to paste the command used for setting up Mobox Simulator then tap on the enter button. Now the setup procedure will take around 5 to 10 minutes depending on your internet connection and device specification. So once you uh, paste the command, there will be and prompt on your Android device which will ask do you want to allow termux just go ahead and tap on the allow button and afterwards wait for few seconds all right guys after waiting for two minutes you will get two options it will ask if you want to set up the new mobox wow 64 version or the previous build of mobox with box 86 now I recommend you guys to choose box 86 if you want better performance but if you want the latest features and latest compatibility of games then you can go with wow 64 now in my case I am going to go with the second option because uh, with wow 64 you get lot of customization options and also brand new settings to improve performance such as the wine easing so let's wait until the mobox wow 64 has been set up but once again if you want very good performance in gta 5 definitely go with box 86 all right guys now that the setup is completed the mobox simulator will ask you to type mobox to start the emulator so we'll just go ahead and type it then tap on the enter button and immediately it will sync some packages and you will be able to see mobox simulator successfully start now once it has started what you'll need to do is customize the settings of Termux X11 app. Basically Termux X11 is used for the output of Mobox Simulator. It's basically like a monitor and Termux is like a CPU. So here in display resolution mode make sure to select the exact option and select the display resolution as 1280 by 720p. Also enable stretch to fit display. Uh, once that has been done scroll down make sure to enable force landscape orientation disable the option of show additional keyboard and those are going to be the best settings for termux x11 now what you have to do is apply the best settings for mobox simulator for that just go ahead and scroll down and go to the change box 64 build option select the march 3 builds of box 64 once that has been done go to settings Go to Dynarex settings and for best performance in GTA 5, you will need to use the configuration 45. For that, you will be able to read 4 is for performance and 5 is for improving even more performance. So just go ahead and type 45, then tap on the enter button. Scroll up to see if your configuration has been applied. Once that has been done, tap on the enter button. Afterwards, we'll go to the wine prefix settings. Make sure to go to change wine e-sync mode and make sure that uh, enable wine e-sync without root has been enabled. Afterwards tap on the cancel button twice. Let's scroll down to the DXVK settings. Here make sure to keep everything default and in terms of system settings you can customize this. For example the primary course at the top section you will be able to see is set to 4 to 7. So you can keep it default if you have Snapdragon uh, 680 to 8 Gen 2 processor. But if you have a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor you will need to go to change primary course amount and make sure to select 7 primary course. Now I have already done it on my second device in which I will be showing you guys the GTA gameplay. Anyways once everything has been set up just go ahead and tap on the cancel button and tap on the start wine option. 
Now when you are uh, opening the Mobox simulator for the first time, it will take few minutes to set up all the turnip drivers, DXVK version etc. So just be patient until it has all been set up. Now we will be switching over to our main device in which I will be testing out the GTA 5 because I have already added the game and my Xiaomi 11T Pro does not have enough storage to add GTA 5. Uh, so basically you will need anywhere from like 60 to 110 GB of free storage. Now that we have typed the mobox command, we just have to type uh, tap the start wine option. Now when you are setting up mobox for the first time, it will uh, set up all these things but once it has been set up, every time you open the mobox simulator, it will be instantaneous so your app will open immediately. Now right here at the top right corner, you will see the input bridge settings icon. Now basically input bridge is an app which will provide you with on screen touch controls. Uh, with the help of the input bridge app, uh, you can just go ahead and tap on the settings icon. You can create your own on-screen touch controls like I have created right here. So if you just go ahead and tap on the settings icon, you can just go ahead and tap on this toolkit option and uh, create your own touch layout. For example, while playing GTA 5, we need an analog stick, we also need an D-pad, we need the F, escape, enter, shift, etc. buttons. So make sure to set it all up by tapping on create control element then just changing the button shape etc so let me just go ahead and show you if you tap anywhere and then tap on create control element you will see an brand new button pop up now you can change it to rounded rectangle or anything and select a key code for example i just add the insert option now i got the insert button right here i can place it anywhere wherever i want once that has been done, we'll tap on the exit button. Now you can see the insert button is successfully present. But for now, we'll hide our input bridge because once the Mobox simulator starts, as you might be able to see on both devices, even it has been successfully set up. You just have to go ahead and tap on the start option. Afterwards, go to this section where we'll be setting up the DXVK version. So make sure to choose DXVK Asynchronous 1.10.3 1 uh, if you want to play GTA 5 with maximum amount of FPS. Once that has been done, let's go to this section once again and make sure to select the Turnip version 6.5 driver which is specifically for Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor or above or Adreno 7 series GPUs. So if you have an low end Android device, you can definitely try out the Turnip version 4 which is very stable and I definitely do recommend it to you guys. Anyways, now that we are all set up, what you'll need to do is open GTA 5 game on the Mobox simulator. Basically, you'll need to have the preloaded GTA 5 game dumped onto your Android device or else it will not work. Obviously, if it is an setup game, then it will not work. Make sure to use an preloaded version of GTA 5. I'll just go ahead and open the GTA 5 game on my Android device and there we go, it is about to successfully start. So that's how simple it is to set up the Mobox simulator on your Android device, apply the best settings to get an playable experience while emulating GTA 5 on your Android devices. Now once the game starts, just go ahead and tap on the settings icon to enable your input bridge on screen touch controls. And there we go at the top left corner, you might be able to see the FPS that we are getting. It's around 30 to 40 FPS during the loading screen. but uh, do note that Mobox Simulator is still in its alpha stages so there will be lot of freezing, crashing and bugs that will be present. So you just need to have lot of patience and yeah, if you meet all the minimum requirements then you should be good to go. Let me skip to the part once the game actually starts. Alright, there we go guys, our GTA 5 has successfully started. Now inside house you will notice that we are getting stable FPS but as soon as you exit the house the frame drop will be present so your FPS will be around 5 to 10 depending on the device which you are trying to emulate. In my case I am using my IQ12 with Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor and the FPS that I am getting is not that great so just make sure that you have an high end Android device uh, specifically the best uh, device for GTA 5 emulation on Android is a device with Snapdragon 870 processor. You will get 45 to 60 FPS on it. So yeah, if you meet the requirements, you should be good to go. Anyways, that's going to be it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notifications. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.